Just a couple of minutes ago, the Rakhine's attack was in Dnipro. Uh, last, uh, last day, uh, as you know, it's destroyed uh, a shopping mall in Kremenchuk. Uh, died uh, more than 20 people, 40 um, uh, people missed. And uh, it's genocide. Uh, we see the Russian Russians destroyed uh, civilians' apartments just in the capital of Ukraine, destroyed more than uh, 300 buildings, 220 buildings, it's uh, apartments, res uh, residence buildings um, uh, for civilians. It's, it's not the war against the Ukrainian army, it's, it's a war against civilian population. We see how destroyed the city, Mariupol, Donetsk, uh, uh, Kharkiv, Chernigiv, many other cities. It's, it's war, it's genocide of uh, Ukrainian people. So, uh, today we see the, the safety is very important and collective uh, safety is very important question for Ukraine. And just one way to be the part of NATO is mean safety to our homeland. Whatever it takes, 300,000, 1 million, a billion, it is important to stop the war and stop Putin's army in Ukraine now. Ukraine is going to fail. If Ukraine is going to fail, you're going to be next. Moldova is going to be next. Food crisis, it's just the beginning. Economical crisis. If it's not going to be stopped now, all of us are going to be affected. The free world, so-called free world, is going to be affected. And NATO and the, the world society needs to learn how to act fast. It's been too long. You probably, or the free world, probably was expecting that the Ukraine is going to fail in three days. It didn't happen. The world is still going. 120 days now. How long? How many civilians, children, thousand children have been killed, murdered, raped, injured? 3,000 rockets were launched and landed on Ukrainian soil. So close the sky. It will continue in the past two days and still going that rockets are still launched and landed on the infrastructure where civilians were shopping. And justification was that Bucha, Irpin, Gostomo, Mariupol and so on it was a complete lie, as well as that civilians were killed in the shopping mall yesterday. So the state of lies in this case, Russia and Putin's army is continuing destroying Ukraine and killing the Ukrainians. Russia needs Ukraine, but not the Ukrainians, as we see. And after the Second World War, nothing like that in the old world, in Europe, was happening. That international law was broken that badly and still going. And we're still observing, the majority is still observing while still having trades with Russia. We need to isolate Russia to show this is not okay with us to continue this destruction of life. It needs to be stopped now, whatever it takes, troops, defensive weapons, offensive weapons, whatever it takes must be stopped. The longer we will continue observing, so to speak observing, the more it's going to have consequences. And what is happening is a war crime that could not continue in 2022. After all the experiences we've made with the First and Second World War, that cannot be realistic. Wake up, guys. This is happening now. You're going to be next. This is going to be knocking on your door just in the blink of an eye.